Hey everybody, it's me, Angel Benson. Oh my God, is that my hair? Oh my God, I've got... <laughs> my hair's a little crazy. Um, okay, so today I was kind of a stressful day. It's, it's really crazy because you carry stress around all day. It's like this, and I get home, and like it's only 8 o'clock, and I'm ready to go to sleep. Like I'm exhausted already. It's crazy. Anyways, plus the weather's not helping either. Let's keep it real. I would much prefer it to be warmer than it is right now. All right, so Bold and the Beautiful. So you know how, that's what today's study recap is all about, Bold and the Beautiful. So you know how um, I've always come on every single week going, I love Bold and Beautiful. I love Bold and Beautiful. Bold and Beautiful is so great. You know, blah, blah, blah. Okay, not this time. This time I'm going to start off with some criticism. I'm really not an, I'm really not liking this whole Quinn and Ridge pairing. I'm really not. Now you might might be like they're not together. No, they're not, but let's be real. I've watched soaps long enough that I can tell you that it's obvious what's going to happen. Ridge is going to hit on Quinn or something, right? And Katie's going to walk in and see it. And then Katie is going to think that Quinn hit on Ridge, which she probably didn't. And then she's going to hold it over, you know, she's going to run to Eric and tell Eric. And then it'll just end up really bad for Quinn. Meanwhile, Ridge doesn't, you know, have to deal with any consequences except Brooke dumps him yet again. Here's the thing that I don't understand about Brooke. I don't understand a lot about Brooke, actually. But the, the first thing that... It kills me is that Brooke should actually be sympathizing with Steffi. Here's why. Because in Liam's heart, poor, simple, sweet, drippy Liam, his heart will always have one woman at the top of his heart, and that woman is Hope. Now, granted, don't get don't get it twisted. He might act like he loves Steffi, but let's be real. He only loves Steffi because Hope's not on the show anymore. If Hope was still on the show, he would be with Hope, right? And I don't know why Steffi never thinks that. You know, I did I did enjoy what though when Liam first went missing, she called the first person she called was Hope. It's like where is he? <laughs> She's like, what the fuck are you talking about? That was actually good. Um, but yeah, I think, anyways, so as much as Steffi is coming in second to, in Liam's heart, Brooke is coming in second in Ridge's heart. Constantly, right? The first time she came in second was with, uh, Caroline. And I don't mean little Caroline, I mean her aunt Caroline, the one who died. Right? That was tragic, right? And then she came in second to Taylor, you know, let's not forget, Taylor mothered most of Ridge's children. So, yeah, it's, you would think that they would have that in common and they would understand, but no, I mean, not really. Anyways, I, I, don't, I don't understand Brooke a lot. Like, she, like I said, she's maddening. She's, she's totally maddening this devotion to Ridge. It just drives me up the freaking wall. I cannot, I don't, I don't get, I don't get it. I need someone to explain that better to me. I don't understand. Anyways, so back to Quinn and Eric. I really enjoy Quinn and Eric together. I don't like Katie with Eric. I mean, that's kind of gross because, you know, Eric talks about how he's known Katie since she was a little girl. I don't like to think about that. Even if there was a big age difference, like I'm not saying she shouldn't like older men, but just this particular older man is a little bit creepy. I'm just saying. And it adds a creepy nuance to Eric that we didn't already, we don't know is there, right? But I could be wrong. They could be setting something completely up, different. We'll see. You, you, we'll see. Anyways. Uh, yeah, and I don't care that Ridge has, you know, like when Ridge was spying on Quinn, um, taking a shower... I, my eye is really irritating me. I don't know why. Yeah. So when Ridge was spying on Quinn taking a shower, Quinn was kind of, 
I don't want to say that she was flirting with him, but she was definitely flirty with him. You know, she was definitely playful. Um, and not just that, but I took it more as she was being unapologetic about who she was. She's like, whatever, you're in my house. And if you want to look at me naked, whatever. Hope you like what you see. Right? That reminds me of um, um, something that like Chi Chi Rodriguez would do on Tu on Fu. <laughs> Why don't you take a picture? It'll last you longer. Yes. I forgot about that. I fucking love me some Chi-Chi. Uh, that movie was so good. And Wesley Snipes, how good was he? He was actually my favorite one as Noxima Jackson. He was hilarious. And totally against character. Like, you never would have guessed when you see Noxima Jackson that that is Blade. I mean, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Anyways. Back to Bold and the Beautiful. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not enjoying all of that mess and all this social media hoo-ha with um, Wyatt and Stephanie just being roped into everything. It's a little bit much. It's a little much, right? And here's the thing. Why is Rick just taking it? Rick. Rick is the one who should be pitting Steffi against Ridge and so that he can come out victorious. I mean, like, does he not want the CEO position? Like, is he not willing to do what it takes to get it? I mean, I don't get it. He should have been doing that this whole time. So the whole Rick and Ridge alliance just seems kind of silly to me. Because if it seems like... God, it's really... My, my eye, it's just killing me. It seems like... Rick and Ridge are ignoring decades of history, right? They are at least 20 years of history between the two of them, and it's not good, right? I remember back when Ron Moss was playing Ridge and Kyle Loder was playing, or Louder, I don't know, but he was playing Rick, the last Rick, and there was a big fight scene, and Ridge ended up saying Rick like 16 times. It was on Talk Soup. It was pretty funny. Or it was on The Soup. The Soup. Just kidding. The Soup. I don't want Joe McHale to get upset. On The Soup. Talk Soup was hosted by my baby, John Henson. He's so cute. I love him. I, I, I'll tell a funny John Henson story some other time. But anyways. So, I mean, that, that kind of history is what we see that. We're like, okay, well... Now I, now I see why they hate each other. Or now I see why it's difficult for them to get along, you know. And now it's like, oh, nothing happened. All because of Quinn? You're going to ignore two, 20 years worth of issues because of some woman who's not even that bad. Again, two words. Sheila Carter. I'm through. I'm through. Right? So, it's just... It's very, the whole, the whole situation right now is just a little bit frustrating. And not just that, but where's Deacon? Uh, I say let Deacon go back to Genoa City and start some stuff with some Young and the Restless people. Because they need some new blood that's not related to everyone. And let's be real, Deacon is pretty much related to everyone on Bold and Beautiful right now. So, except for Allison. But we know that because she's the princess of Greece, she can't spend, be spending all that much time, you know, doing the, this little TV show. So, she probably won't be exploring that romance with Deacon, but I think she should. Whatever. Anyways. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how the future is going to play out on the show. I mean, don't get me wrong. I still love the show. I might, I might have criticism, but that's just, you know, because that's all I do, right? I mean, like, I'm not saying that it's a bad show. Obviously, I'm doing this show because I want people to start watching soaps, right? So, anyways, I just want to say thank you so much for logging on today. You can please feel free to follow me on Twitter at Angel Benton. Hashtag Bold and Beautiful to talk all about the Bold and Beautiful. You can also hashtag Ladies of London because on during tonight's episode, I mean, that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So we can discuss Ladies of London tomorrow. And then after that, we'll do Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. So thank you so much for logging on. I do appreciate you all. Have a wonderful night. Peace out. Wubba, wubba, wubba.